Hey guys, welcome back. It is time to do another empties video and I have a lot to show you so let's just jump right in. And the first thing I'm going to show you is this giant box on the top. <laughs> um, this is kind of a random thing. This is the Crunchmaster Multigrain Crackers. They're certified, certified gluten-free, original multi-seed flavor, uh, all natural, crunchy, oven-baked, 100% whole grain, whole grain, cholesterol-free, low sodium. And um, this is a giant box. This is from like Sam's Club. So if you find them in the store, they're probably going to be in a smaller box. <laughs> the serving size on these is 15 crackers, which is actually a lot for something like this um, at 140 calories. It does have 5 grams of fat, but not too bad. The carbs are high. It's 20 grams of carbs, but you do get 2 grams of fiber, which is not great, but could be worse, and 3 grams of protein. And some of the ingredients, brown rice meal, sesame seeds, potato starch, quinoa seeds, safflower oil, flax seeds, amaranth seeds, uh, tamarind soy sauce, and just some more after that. Okay, um, it does contain soy, so if you're allergic to soy, stay away from these. These are really, really good. And being gluten-free is what sells them for me. <laughs> you know, I can have them with minimal reactions. Now, I will tell you that about every fourth or fifth cracker that you eat, for some reason, I don't know if it's one of the grains, but if you've ever taken fish oil supplements, that aftertaste that you get when you, have the, when you take those kind of supplements, every fourth or fifth cracker you get a hint of something that resembles that. Just a very tiny hint. It's not anywhere near as bad as taking the supplements. So if you're already taking the supplements, this is not going to bother you at all. Um, and it's every, like I said, it's every fourth or fifth cracker. So if that doesn't bother you, then I think you will really like these. Um, they're really good to use to like, you know, have a little chicken salad with it. Or, um, you know, there's all kinds of things that you could do with them, obviously. But that's kind of an easy way for a relatively healthy snack um, or meal. For me, it's a meal. <laughs> For me, and it's, it's an entire day's worth of food. <laughs> these do contain 280 milligrams of omega-3 per serving. I really like these. If you've never tried them before, I would at least give them a shot and um, see what you think. It's the perfect snack for when you just need something crunchy and salty, but you don't want potato chips or anything else or any other kind of cracker that would be much worse to eat for you. Um, these are perfect. So, you know, you might even substitute your potato chips. For these. Another food item that I really, really like um, is this Cardini's Roasted Asian Sesame Dressing. There's no MSG in it, so that's always good. And um, Asian dressing or Asian sesame dressing is my all-time favorite salad dressing. And dressing for me is not a good thing. Um, I do react to it any kind. doesn't really matter. It's the fact that it's, you know, bottled. <laughs> Bottled, canned, stored for any length of time causes some kind of reaction. So I do have reactions, but, you know, this isn't as bad as some others. And to be honest with you, it really doesn't care, matter what kind of Asian dressing it is. I just like Asian dressing no matter what brand. I haven't had a brand yet that I don't like. So this is one of the ones that I like um, a lot. So if you haven't tried it, I mean, you can get it in, you know, any grocery store, I would say, probably, or especially a, a large chain like Kroger's. Um, if you've never tried Asian dressing, you should try it. It's kind of like, it's not as sour as Italian dressing, um, but it, it does have a tang to it. It's a little bit tangy, but it's a lot of notches under Italian. So if you like a little tang, but you don't like too much, give this a try. There's a sweetness to it that, that comes from the sesame seeds that I think you would really like. So definitely a favorite. A girl can only eat so much, so many plain vegetables before she needs some salad dressing. Okay. Now I've had a lot of issues with plastic in the last couple weeks and I don't know what the deal is, but um, this is the first thing that happened to me, and you guys will remember, I did mention this in one of my Ready, Set, Shop videos, that I had an incident, a shower gel incident, and here's what it is. 
Um, it's the, I have the St. Ives Exfoliating Apricot Moisturizing Body Wash, and I have it in a plastic baggie just because I don't want it dripping or leaking all over the place. Um, so this is one of the 33% more bottles. It's a bigger bottle. They're usually in smaller bottles, but you can still buy this. I've had this for a really, 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 really long time. Um, but it is kind of my holy grail shower gel right now. And um, it does have little exfoliating kind of bubbly beads in it, which are not harsh at all. They're, they're really nice. They're just the right amount. I use it with a loofah in the shower at night just to exfoliate my skin, you know, from here down. And um, the smell is really nice. If, if, you, if you're like me and you kind of got really sick of peach in the mid early to mid 90s you know when bath and body works came out and um they had a really great peach scent but we kind of overdid it with a lot of those scents back then and you still like something that's that kind of a citrusy scent but you need it to be a little bit softer the apricot is a refreshing change to that and like i said it really is kind of my holy grail shower gel right now it really leaves my skin feeling um soft and it's not the exfoliating because i i exfoliate no matter what shower gel I'm using. That's the only reason I use shower gel. I don't use it to clean, you know, the important bits. I just use it to exfoliate. That's what it was designed for. And, um, it, you know, it's just very moisturizing to the skin. So I really like it. And what happened was I still had a lot left, actually. It would have lasted me a long time. But I got up one morning and I went into the bathroom and it was in the bottom of the shower. It had fallen at some point. I didn't even hear it fall. But when it fell, the plastic busted and all of the shower gel leaked out of it. So let's have a moment of silence for the shower gel. Anyway, so there's that. That's a Holy Grail product for me. So I, I do really like it and I would recommend it to anyone. Um, I finished up another one of my Advanced Techniques Volume Conditioner for Fine Hair. This was my Holy Grail, but it's now been discontinued and they've moved on to something else. It's by Avon, by the way. Um, so there's that, but, you know, this was one of those that I always finish the shampoo before I finish the conditioner, so I set the, the rest of the conditioner aside, and on Wednesdays and Sundays when I'm changing up my routine, um, that's when I kind of use up what's left, so that's what I did, and it's gone, and I can't get any more, so what if? Next is the all-time best candle ever made on the planet. This, this line of candles are the best candles anywhere. If you ever have these, you will be like, why was I so stupid to buy Bath & Body Works candles? Yankee candles are a close second for me, but I mean, Bath & Body Works doesn't even rank <laughs> on the scale. Um, and Walmart is decent. I like Walmart candles because they're really affordable, and so they're pretty decent too. But let me just show you what I'm talking about. This is a party light candle, and the scent is strawberry rhubarb. This was given to me as a gift. Um, they, they have all different sizes and containers and, you know, burners and, I mean, everything you can think of, all different kinds of scents. These not only have the best scent throw of any candle ever on the planet, this little candle fragranced my entire apartment, all three floors, just all by its little lonesome, but they burn the absolute cleanest, especially if you keep up with the wick, which I'm lazy and I never keep up with the wick, but if you do trim your wicks, they burn super duper clean and they literally burn all the way to the bottom all of it burns away so you know seriously pop this in the freezer and you really can use this with minimal cleaning i mean i have a little bit to clean off the sides but no other candle burns down this far clean and simple so if you've never tried party light they are a party platform kind of direct selling company this is i use these like crazy when i was you know, like in my early and mid 20s, I mean, I still have a, a bunch because I buy them in bulk and they last me forever. I do suggest that you go through a representative because that's how those folks, that's their job. That's how they're putting food on the table. And, you know, people need to eat, <laughs> right? So go through a representative if, if you can do that. But, you know, if your schedule doesn't allow you to have a party or whatever, I don't know if there's other ways around it or if they're selling in different ways these days or if they have their own websites or not. But I don't care what you have to do to get your hands on a party light candle. Do it. And you will never, ever, ever. And they're, um, the prices are 
better than most of the other lines too so you really can't go wrong with these if you can get your hands on them seriously try them you'll never go back to anything else <laughs> that isn't super duper affordable that you can really legitimize in your head you you will not be in the mall shopping for candles anymore i can promise you that next is another this wasn't a plastic mishap but it's another plastic container that cracked on me this 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 week um it's one of the skin so soft soft and sensual replenishing hand creams now this particular packaging is um you know a, a year or two old it's uh from not this most recent christmas but christmas before and i just squeezed it too hard and put my finger through it once it was empty trying to get everything out <laughs> plastic and me did not get along this past rotation of products i can tell you that um so anyway you know the skin, skin so soft is a classic avon line soft and sensual is a classic avon scent and the replenishing hand cream is a really nice hand cream so um, they come out with seasonal packaging, but they have regular packaging too, so even though this is seasonal, you can, you know, you can buy it pretty much all year round, so, anyway, um, a good hand cream if you've never tried it. And my next packaging mishap, another case of being cracked when I was squeezing, this is the, um, Pantene Color Preserve Shine Conditioner. This is another one of the ones that I was using um, kind of on my Wednesday, Sunday routine and used it up. I really liked it. I think I just showed this to you guys um, in a Ready, Set, Shop video because I told you I would finished up the Advanced Techniques Conditioner and I was replacing it, so I replaced it and I used it. And um, I really like this. I told you guys before I like Pantene uh, products. They are really good these days and any kind of you know bad history that they have people need to let go of and go try them again because they've re revamped the line quite a few times over the years and they're really good now so um the color preserve shine i don't know if it preserves color because my hair isn't colored but i enjoyed using it and it did good things for my hair and as a matter of fact i've been using a different regimen recently that i'm i can't talk about um but the regimen that I'm using, it does not do enough for the ends of my hair. And so I have been using this on top of the regimen that I've been using to do something for the length of my hair <laughs> because the other stuff just wasn't cutting it. So anyway, if that, if that doesn't tell you anything, then I don't know what will. Um, next is another bottle of the Avon Skin So Soft Firm and Restore Age Defying Corrective Neck and Chest Cream. This is the stuff that you put on your decollete and, you know, up your neck. And it helps to protect you from sunspots and it helps to reduce the sunspots that you've already got and it gives you a nice healthy glow. And it's a holy grail product. You guys have seen it a million times and you're seeing it again. <laughs> Next is the foundation that I've been using for a long time. This is the Revlon Photo Ready uh, Makeup, they call it, in number four, Nude. It does have SPF 20 in it. I really like Photo Ready. It is kind of a holy grail for me. The only downside to Photo Ready is that it does really kind of, it's not that it clings to dry spots, but you can really, anytime, any place you have a dry spot, it's really going to visibly stand out once you put this on. So, um, it's very good for on camera, but in person, if you have problems like I have, if, or if you just have dry skin, you know, but if you have issues where you, you know, blister, maybe you have acne and you've got peeling or, um, you know, any kind of rashes that would peel or whatever, anything that would cause dry patches, this will make it stand out in person. On camera, uh, it works really, really well, but in person, dry, dry spots will show up. So if you have that problem, maybe would not be for you. Um, anyway, though, I, I do really like Photo Ready, and um, I, you really can't go wrong with Revlon in a lot of ways. So, speaking of Revlon, um, I also have this lip, lip product, and I, the name is rubbed off, and I don't remember anymore now what it was called, but uh, it was kind of like a lip tint. It had SPF 15 in it, and it was in the color pink, and this was kind of, this was my everyday lip color for a long time. This was discontinued just before the lip butters and all that kind of stuff came out. So, um, essentially the same idea though. It was kind of, it was like a tinted lip balm that had a lot of color to it, including the SPF. And it was really nice. I would uh, I would have used it again, but you know can't get it anymore. But that's okay. You know we love all of the Revlon <laughs> products that have come out since then, right? So we're good to go with it. 
And okay, that's everything for this time. So um, coming up, I'm going to show you a haul video. Uh, probably my next video will be a haul video showing you all the things that I um, have purchased or replenished to replace all the things that I've just gotten rid of. Um, so if you're curious, like, okay, well, you got rid of that. What are you using now? I'm going to show you in the very next video um, a few days from now. So keep watching and welcome to all my new subscribers. And uh, let me know how you're doing down in the comments and I'll see you next time. Bye.